Hey, hey, YouTube, it's your boy JD back with another video here to talk about what these nonsense who ain't shit. First off, guys, please like, share, subscribe up in this thing. That part right there for your way. No time for that. And nonsense ain't shit, okay? That's some bitch and that be shit. I can't stand it. I mean, I, I always throw that out there. I will always say it. I guess it's damn. There go once again for your ass. Anywho, the title of this video is this him. It's a little motivation for your ass. If you pop this habit, that part right there for your ass, and you feel in some type of Depression and all that extra shit, you know what I'm saying? You like, you know what I'm saying? Like, spin off with the isolation and isolate your own ass. That part right there, you know what I'm saying? Don't get my gist, okay? And your ass will right now, okay? Let's get that guy. What I mean by it is what I said. You have about this habit, okay? You escaped. The blessings of God, okay? You got away from this raggedy good for the spanking ass noise. There you go once again for you. I cannot stand some. Sons of bitches will never be shit. I cannot stress it up. I feel your pain, you know what I'm saying? Been there, done it as well. You know what I'm saying? Who gives a damn with anybody pain? You know what I'm saying? That's the whole just behind this. You know, if you don't isolate yourself forever, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Well, so I'm saying you're in depressed mode and that type of shit like that. I've been there, done it too. And so I cannot talk about nobody else. Do it. But I took my power back. I took my power back means I took myself up about that shit. I'm like, that son of bitches never be shit. Good for the stank raggedy ass noise. I cannot stress it enough. Being out this habit, I'm trying to tell you guys so much. I'm trying to tell you, that son of a bitch will never, I mean, never stop thinking about your ass. Never. I guess now. You may think that son of a bitch is not thinking about your ass. That son of a bitch should wake up thinking about your ass. Like I said, when go to sleep thinking about your ass, eating cereal, thinking about your ass. If the son of a bitch is still working, going to work thinking about your ass. Why could your ass is gone? See, even though you, like I said, you depressed and all this extra shit, the narcissists don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't talking to the narcissists. You know what I'm saying? But don't stay in depressed. Don't start isolating yourself where you just go to work and just, for fun, like, I'm just gone. I'm going to be daddy forever. I probably think you're aware. I feel your ass been in that chair. I cannot stress enough. Daddy forever. I gave him 20 years. 20 years, yeah, 20 years of my life. I type of shit right there for your ass. And then the son bitches just, just dog your ass. I've been, been dogging your ass this time. But you just stood in the habit because you think the son bitch gonna change. No, the son bitch never changed. I cannot stress it enough. You stayed 20 years with that stanky ragged son, but you see it didn't change. It just got worse. Then it's that. That's why you feel the way you feel now. That's why this shit is over. That habit is over. See, if it was meant by God, then it's there for your ass. It was never, never went to you. know with all that bullshit. I would bless that shit. I can't talk about nobody. I did it too. You know what I'm saying? I took the power back though. You know what I'm saying? That nonsense will never be shit. I cannot stress it enough. Especially if you made the nonsense with the nonsense did. You brought the nonsense up. So if you did all this extra shit, you think the high power to see that shit? It's all that. You see you over there walking. You see you crying. Fuck that. I was saying. the same thing. I cannot stress it enough. Baby. 13 years. 13 years. Yeah, 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 yeah. All that extra shit. And then the baby just dogged your ass out. You stuck in the press mode and all that extra shit. Isolating your ass. You going to work, coming home, just staying in the press. Let me tell you something. There's nothing wrong, okay? It is something wrong with being depressed. I mean, that's the spirit of the devil. That's, that, ain't, that, that is not the high power. I cannot stress that now. But there's nothing wrong with being in your emotion, you, your feelings. You know what I'm saying? You feel some type of way. You feel some type of way. That shit is valid. Can't take that from your ass. I mean, I feel some type of way too. I lost all types of weight. That's um, uh, it's like I said one day in the beginning. That's son, uh, I ain't recognize my own legs. There is there. Then when I started educating myself and started learning the gist, I said, This son of a bitch, you good for nothing. Stinking that, that's what I said. Like I said one day, don't tell the nonsense what the nonsense is. I told that son of a bitch, I didn't give a damn. Like I said, you took me through all this bullshit, you don't know what the hell I know. There it is there. The son of a bitch, no, I know. That's why some just cannot manipulate, try doing an adjustment. You know what I'm saying? The Hoover shit, that shit. It's just still a Hoover, you know what I'm saying? I think it's a damn, any type of thing that they try to just throw at your ass. There's some type of Hoover attempt to let you know I'm thinking about your ass. Daddy, I'm sorry, I'm thinking about your ass. It's so special. I cannot stand them. I really can't. Them sons of bitches will never be shit. That is up for your ass. Whatever you may have done for this nonsense, burn some bitch up, make some bitch what it is, some bitch losing shit. That's what I'm trying to tell you about. See, if you have been as in self isolate yourself because your motivation is down because you gave all your, your, your love and all this, that's how you messed up right there. You can't give that son bitch all you. You can just keep it. Saying, oh, I'm just, I gave that all my love and the kids. See, I, I, I get the gist. 
I guess it is. Let that shit go. That's what I'm trying to tell you with. Get out there and you know, start, start living. Like, you know what I'm saying? Think, think, think about this just like this. You just self isolate Joe on the Okay, you, you don't even want to leave the room. Just depressed. The devil love that shit. Why? Because you're not serving your purpose for the high power. Once you do, you stuck. Get the hell up. You can just do your say, Come on, you're strong now. You're one. I cannot stress enough. You're a champion. That's what the nurses want your ass to do. See, when all this discord and all the extra shit happen, they want your ass to just all stressed out and all the extra shit. That's what, the, that's what they want. They want you to feel that type of way. I'm saying, but you're strong in that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you got God in your ass. God going to always uplift your ass. But you got to give it to the high power. You got to trust that and believe that shit. You got to, mm. See, God, I'm an Aries, okay? I think that's, that's my sign. Like, I, I, I'm self-motivated. I cannot stress that enough to your ass. I self-motivate my own ass. I, can't, I, I talk to the high power every day. I do. Every day. I cannot stress enough. See, that's what you got to do. You got to start engaging your time and combo with the high power. No matter all the negativity and shit that you go through in life, it's going to always come your way. Why? Because you're a winner. I cannot stress that enough. Everybody hates your weight. Everybody against your ass. Ain't nobody for your ass. Nobody with you. Or if you do find somebody on your team, it's, it's a probably one. I got a thousand sons of bitches. I got a thousand of You got your family members against your ass. They probably happy that you are depressed. Listen, well, look at it. Look at it. I told her. I told her instead of being uplifted and encouraging your ass, I told her that his ass wasn't shit. You knew some bitch wasn't shit your own ass. You don't, you don't have to be told that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why... I remember a time, scenario, I tell my partner and shit like that, you know, about the hell I was going through. Cause I know something ain't shit. I'm not stupid. You ain't either. You're one of your champions. You, you ain't stupid. You know some bitch ain't shit yourself. Highly intelligent. Ain't you? I tell the homie, you like, well, you know, well, you know. I just tell his ass. I said, man, you gotta tell me the son bitch ain't shit. I'm telling you, I know the son bitch ain't shit. There <laughs> it is. You know what I'm saying? I had a plan. I cannot stress that up. The plan was, you know, so I'm stacked. Stack this money up. I'm just going to get on from your good for the stank of ragged ass. That's what you got to do. You got to have a plan. And see, when you take that plan and you follow through that plan, you know, you're going to probably have your emotions because you was tired, so tired with this stank of ragged ass. And all that. I cannot stand some. That bitch is a nasty shit. So when you take your power down and you get your head and get your ass on, you'll see what I'm talking about. That son bitch will fall and crumble. How can I stress it now? And they will never stop thinking about your ass. I cannot. Unless you got kids in the head, you ain't even got to have no kids. You ain't got to have none of that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? And neither one of y'all can have kids. You know what I'm saying? That's something still thinking about your way. I could use the best thing ever. See, you got to get out of just thinking that you was not the best thing. You know what I'm saying? That's why you probably feel isolated and depressed mode. And also love it, the devil love it too. The devil is giggling and laughing. Uh -uh. In the book of, in the Bible, Job, okay? You know, the, the, the devil wanted to put. Job to the test because you know he felt, he felt like God, God favored him or whatever. He didn't favor his ass. He just it's just what it is, what it is. You know what I'm saying? He just he just worshiped and he praised him. Like just like Noah. I know everybody in the land, you know what I'm saying? Noah the only one stayed true to his ass. Everybody else was doing all the extra shit. That's why Noah had the ark and got on, had shit his whole family. That's what that, that was his gist. He stayed true and loyal. See everybody else went wicked and went, you know, they followed Cain. You know what I'm saying Abel, and, you know Cain and Abel, you know Cain killed his brother Abel. You know what I'm saying they follow Cain's way, the evil and wicked. That's, that's the only son bitch that never went to jail. I cannot stress enough. I think back on that. I mean, Cain, your ass never got locked up. You some bitch. That was the first murder. If you didn't know, now your ass now. And that shit has been reinvented now. Stabbing, choking, hanging your ass, crucifixion, all types of shit. Them sons of bitches. Well, he got violent. Anyway, he tested Joe, put all the boils on his ass. Cause he had some big, I mean, boys, they was all over his ass. The boy, a boy hurt. I cannot stress it. That sons of bitches ain't no joke. Anyway, I imagine he had some type of depressed moment. But you know what he did? He kept giving, he kept praying to God. He kept giving it to God. Never, never cursed God. Never, never doubted God. Never, never, I just cursed with the Lord. I just, he never did that shit. You know what I'm saying? God cured his ass with that. Took all that shit away. Blessed him a hundred times. Only when he had, before he had. You give me just what I'm saying. See, he, even him, he had boils all over his ass, okay? His family wasn't shit. His wife wasn't shit. Homies wasn't shit. Everybody just looking at his ass like, damn. That part right there, instead of like asking, do we need help? Praying for his ass. Nobody did none of that. But he kept praying for his own ass. See, that's what you got to do. If you got there in that habit, you just isolate and keep praying and keep talking to the high. Talk to yourself. 
I'm a witness in this shit. I'm telling you something. That day when I finally got the chest, I'm telling you, I just got chills all over my body. That ain't about the, 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 the angels touching my ass. I mean, it was all over my ass. I'm crying and everything. I know what's going on. What was this? What is going on? I, I, I'm real on this child. I guess it ain't. I guess it ain't. All men cry. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't see the summers cry. I don't hear the summers don't cry. Some just went so in the corner and did shit. I guess it ain't. You know what I'm saying? It is, it is what it is. We just, that's, how we, that's how we get out. That's how society got us. You know what I'm saying? But who gives a damn? Greatest he that is made in that shit in the world. And there they go right there for you. Anyway, when I got the gist and shit, got the chills all over my body. I, the pain was my, my heart was so up. I cannot stress it enough to you. I'm in the bed. It's just, the bill's been crying. I said, like, why am I crying over this type of good for nothing ragged ass? No, I said, somebody just dog my ass out. I'm not, I, I couldn't get the gist. I didn't understand why I was so tired. To the raggedy ass devil, and then I got the, the, got to talk to the high power, got the gist, figured out the gist, and then that I felt the shit come right up, up off my ass. This is crazy. I bullshit your ass. Not, I mean, I get big, the big pop show some of all the prayers. God, I, I don't deny his ass nothing. Right now, I thank the Lord for another day. I'm up because his ass. It ain't because of me. I'm up because he shows, hey, you know, you can get your ass up today. That's what that was. His mercy and his love for me. Thank you, Papa Showstop, for another day once again, you know what I'm saying? No matter what you go through, the hurt, the pain, the back pain, your pain, the Lord always there for your ass. Everything will pass. And, you know what I'm saying? Until you don't put you too much shit on your ass that you cannot handle. If you cannot handle it, he'll take it from you. He'll take it away from your ass. You know, you're your child. You love your ass. He don't do it like that. Jesus was in pain when they crucified his ass, but he took it away from his ass, too. Jesus endured a whole bunch of shit. You got to think about that. If he could hit a whole bunch of shit, we can too. We just like him. You just got to get out the gist. Even in depression, Jesus never was depressed. Even when he was on that cross, he couldn't get depressed. He asked his father to forgive him. The shit that they don't know what they did. He still showed compassion and love. That's what I tell you what. See, you know, despite that how the noise is, the noise ain't shit. He still gives compassion. He still shows love. If you give him just, you give him saying. It's like, if the noise is trying to do you this way, you still show compassion. You got to be evil. Hell no, that tell you his ass is it's up. Sometimes I'm trying to touch it. See, they only know one way, and that's just to be evil, mean, the value. They, they, they can't help it, it's special. I can't stress it. Like, it's special, so I cannot stress it. I cannot stand some. Your whole life, you son of a bitch. But you know, God still love their ass and still his children. He still wake their ass up, show mercy. You know, just like with Lucifer, right? Satan. And you know what I'm saying? Like, why, why, why did Lord just tell him to slam his ass on in the hill so we can just all be free and be the nonsense would never exist and all that shit? Reason why, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you what. That's that free will thing right there. God gives us all that gift of free will. That's a gift, believe it or not. The free will is a gift. I mean, it's certainly a gift. It's a, you can live in sin, you know what I'm saying? Or follow me. That's, 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 that's the free will gifts. It's, and Lucifer had as well. Angels in heaven had too. You know what I'm saying? That's why I cannot condemn him because he gave him that gift of free will. He know why he did what he did. You know what I'm saying? And then you think about it just a bit. That's still his son. That's still his baby. Still his child too. You know what I'm saying? You know, he always showed compassion. But you know, he's still going to go to the fire. I cannot stress it enough. Despite being his child, he, you know what I'm saying? You know, he uses his ass. You know what I'm saying? You don't think about it. You know what I'm saying? But Papa probably stop know what he's doing. He uses his ass to give it to us. It's all a test. Just like Job when he got tested. If he, went, if he wasn't there, and he passed into his best 100 times over, she, she big probably should stop. I already know what you're going to do. I'm trying to tell you, Wes. Get out the gist of thinking that that son, bitch. It just was the best thing. <laughs> you just can't, you can do whatever you want to do. I cannot stress it up. Get out that mode. I was in that mode, too. I kept going to work. I guess it. I went to cool, cry a little bit. <sighs> All the extra shit. But when I got to just that one night, I'm telling you, that shit went off my heart. That, that, that shit, that son of a bitch and every shit. And that's how I know they would never stop acting about your ass. See, once you get up out that gist, especially if you're out, you're isolated. You know, you're crying, all shit, still crying. It's been about a year or two on your ass. I mean, just, I just, no, come on now. Good, what happened to Jack? Well, Jack, the other time I seen, last time I seen Jack, Jack was over there crying and just all still in the press over Charlie. Jack had passed. That part right there for you. Come on now. You live your last days in depressed mode and then die the next day. It's the hell to me now. I tell these sons bitches at the job. I said, I ain't got time for that shit. You know what I'm saying? My mama told me that too. Life too short to be depressed and stressing. 
That was the truth all day, 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 all day, every day. Can I stress that? Day? You just stress your own ass out all day, then tomorrow you ass and die. It was the last time I was CJ J. He was stressed out. I don't know what was going on his ass today. Oh, he, he didn't pack that time. I ain't got time for that. Guess my That's because you ain't trusted in the high power. You got to see if you trust in the power. I tell you what. It always passes. It always works out. The press more, all the shit, that shit gonna go away. But you gotta give it to the fuck. You can't do it alone. I cannot stress that enough. I just I cannot. That's all you're gonna get out of it. I mean, that's how I did it. I could not do it alone. If it wasn't him, I mean, just, like, I didn't make that shit come off my heart. I felt it come off. I mean, I felt that shit. I was like, I just like it went up or something. It probably showed something. Keep your heads up on all day, every day. Check it out.